Hello and welcome to another Smurpy video and we are here to look at the chosen the one and only Buffy the Vampire Slayer except I I expect to see lots more slayers in this so this is a comic book that is based after season 7 of the the popular TV show and I've never read any of this so I have no idea what to expect and I'm quite excited um, so I brought this new Omnibus collection which has just come out. So pretty much this was the first issue of how it looked I believe. There we go, saying that it's issue one. Um, I'll say forehand and there's a reason why I'm actually holding it. It doesn't stand very well on its own. Uh, there's a side which means it will probably look quite nice on your shelf. And this is the back. Oh. There we go. Um, I would say that this is not <laughs> a, a normal kind of omnibus I, I expect to see. And I will try and show you why. Uh, oh goodness, this is terrible. Uh, there we go, right. It's nowhere near the size of a normal omnibus that I expect to see. So this is just inside the cover. Uh, I'm gonna try and I think I'm gonna try and show you some pages, but I think I'm gonna be hard pressed. Uh, so pretty much this are I guess the stories, and I believe it covers the first twenty issues, and it has two hundred and eighty pages, which is you know quite big for a small omnibus, which is quite cool. Uh, usually in the big omnibuses it's what like 900 pages depending on what the omnibus is based on here's a nice picture of Sundale so like I said I'm finding it difficult to get a full kind of view of the art mainly because it is small or smaller but it's it's still enough that you can read it quite nicely I think uh, I think it's safe to say we're gonna see some some creatures we're gonna see Buffy and see perhaps Tinkerbell there some dead chick there, Giles, <laughs> and I take, I think that's Faith, Faith, yep, yeah, I think that's Faith, I could be wrong, that's a pretty cool picture I'd say, some really nice detail there, some nice art, and just what you expect from a Buffy Xander with his eye patch, and Dawn, and Cleese, there's something funny going on, which is cool, <laughs> alright, it looks like there's some sort of a, uh, dream sequence but um yeah once again the art the art looks really good that looks like Sarah Michelle Gellar pretty cool and Nathan Fillon and I don't know what's going on there <laughs> Angel and Spike or James Masters and David I like at the back that you get to see some some cover art which is always cool and there's a little bio at the back about Josh who brought us this wonderful series and I just want to show this because this looks badass Ooh, two sides. Cool. So all in all, I think this is um, a great start to, if you want to get into the Buffy, the comic world. Um, it's a nice compact book. It looks quite smart. And let me just put it with some other books And inside. even though I'm used to big omnibuses, I think that I, I find this looks quite nice on the shelf. Quite compact. And you can just carry it in your bag if you want to read it on a train or something. So yeah, in my eyes, this is a good start. Definitely worth picking up. Thank you for watching. Embrace the geekiness. Have a good night or day, whatever time you're watching this. <laughs> Goodbye.